the bar for multiplayer games is so low right now that people are playing Valorant. Overwatch 2 will undoubtedly become the big game when it launches, but are we going to be playing this game for a couple weeks or a couple years? Overwatch was a great game. Great game. I put over a thousand hours into Overwatch, okay? That being said, if Overwatch 2 is a couple new maps and some heroes, I will be very disappointed. First, let's talk about the new co-op. From what I can tell, co-op is the primary focus of Overwatch 2. Like I said before, the most interesting part of this game to me is the roster. You have all of these different characters with different play styles, and I think by focusing more on PvE, you can really get more creative with character abilities and making every hero feel broken in their own way. Remember when Overwatch first came out and Roadhog could hook players that were playing on different maps than him? He could throw that dumbass hook around corners and then once he pulled you in and get just one shot you it was hilarious it was awesome and it was insanely broken what's nice about pve is that you can allow characters to be broken and really focus on empowering the player during blizzcon they showed off this new skill tree feature it seems like the overarching goal of the co-op mode is to level up each individual character and as you level up you'll get to select talents on the skill tree like my favorite games warcraft and league of legends if the talents on the skill tree are some bullshit like do 10% more headshot damage or move slightly faster, I don't think that is going to motivate anyone to level up. But if it's goofy shit, like this boulder move that Mei has, that is awesome. That makes me want to get Mei to the max level now. The talent they showed for Reinhardt though seemed a lot more subtle. It makes it so his shield heals him when it has over 50% health, which it doesn't sound super exciting, but it does incentivize you to use the shield. And I think this is one of the areas where Blizzard really needs to step it up is practice. Overwatch 2 needs to be developed around how players actually play Overwatch instead of developing the game around how you're supposed to play. People will naturally gravitate towards the fun part of any game, which is why even in Diamond they still refuse to push the fucking payload. Why won't anyone push the payload? Because it's boring. Why do people on defense always overextend and get caught way out? Because they want to get kills, which is fun to do. The solution isn't to embrace players' selfish instincts, but instead to trick them into playing like a team with selfish rewards. Watch Piff. About the only info Blizzard has given us on the new PvP is that tanks are going to be more like DPS, healers are going to be tankier, and DPS are going to be faster. These changes sound like a direct response to roll queue. Hypothetically, let's say it's 7 p.m. If you want to play a match of Overwatch in roll queue as a DPS character, you can get into a match at about 10 p.m. the next day if you have the fast pass. What's the fast pass? That's the prize you get for playing tank or healer because nobody wants to play those roles. Why not? Because all of the fun characters are DPS, which is also more than half the roster. Fast pass is a practical solution to excessive roll queue times, which was in turn a solution to... Uh, can you not be Hanzo, dude? Hanzo, will you please swap? Yeah, I don't know if we need a Hanzo. Could we not have a Widow? Can you not play Bastion so you can kill? It didn't take people a long time to suck all the fun out of Overwatch. It went from being the game with all these unique characters to the game where if you don't pick the one right character, you get yelled at by some weirdo. Make no mistake, there are good characters and characters that are virtually useless, but once people started caring about which characters were good, you saw Overwatch start to collapse. Tracer, she can dash around, her pistols make this cool sound effect, and she can rewind time. Now we make sure. She is one of the most fun, exciting characters in the game. In 6,000 matches of playing Overwatch, I have seen five people do good on Tracer. Overwatch 2 is not going to magically balance every character in this game. That's never going to happen. But Blizzard, seriously? Is this the best you can do? Widowmaker is one of the worst characters in the game. No, no, don't, don't even try to argue. Everybody knows Widowmaker sucks. So here you have this horrible, terrible, unplayable, garbage character called Widowmaker. What does Blizzard do? They give her the worst ultimate in the game. They give the worst character in the game the worst ultimate in the game. Then you have Junkrat, one of the best characters in the game. Here is his ultimate.
Unbalanced characters are just the tip of the iceberg though. What about steam rolls? Multiplayer games are at their best when both teams have a decent chance of winning. How often do you boot up Overwatch, come out of a match and say, damn, that was a good match. Steam rolls suck ass. They are not fun and they are very frequent. It isn't fun to obliterate a helpless team and it's especially not fun to get completely dominated by a much better team. I think roll queue was Blizzard's attempt to make matches more of a tug of war, but it's really disheartening to sit through that extended queue time just to play a 40 second steamroll match anyway. Nearly every Overwatch match is decided by positioning and timing. Can your team sync up good enough to push? Can you get your flankers and your frontline moving in at the same time? If not, you lose. Overwatch 2 needs to give individuals or smaller groups something to accomplish. Maybe set up some side objectives like Heroes of the Storm. This way you can alternate between objectives and force teams to move around and adapt instead of just tunneling through one choke point the entire match. I think you could side sidestep a lot of the issues that Overwatch has with the co-op experience. However, people don't seem very excited for co-op. When you say co-op shooter nowadays, people think Destiny, Division, Anthem, Fallout 76. It doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. But what if I said Overwatch meets Left 4 Dead? See, now you're like, okay, Dunk, go on. The co-op in the original Overwatch was a gimmick. It was something you played once, you went, oh, that was kind of neat, and then you never touched it again. The intensity of the PvP wasn't there. The AI robots felt like they were just spawning in to die. They would just walk to their spot and stand there while you destroyed wave after wave of them. You look at something like Doom. The enemies are so engaging because they're all bouncing around the map in their own way. If you get too close, they'll whack you. If you run away, they'll chase you. Overwatch. The enemies are like big Yoshi. They're just sitting there. In the new Overwatch 2 video, Jeff Watch said, and I quote, Yeah, we know the AI sucks ass, but maybe it won't suck ass later. They're showing all of these different types of enemies, like the fly guy and the bomb doggy and the smoker. There's a little clip of Lucio blasting robots into the side of the wall. They showed this badass technology where you can shoot robots into each other. You can shoot the legs off of a robot. They're saying there's going to be a hundred different co-op missions. There's a lot to get excited about, and it's getting easier now to imagine the incredible game Overwatch 2 could be. But what it could be, or what it would be, Jeff Watch, make your move. Bye-bye.